Hey guys, Cam back here in the uh, Battler Workshop. Um, just before we finish up for Christmas, I thought I'd do a quick little demo on this little diamond turning tool that I have. I had a number of requests um, from the videos that I put up about the manufacture of, of these or how they go together, um, asking can you show the different applications that you can use this particular turning tool in. So I thought I'd do a very, very quick little video just showing those uh, different applications that I use it for. I'm sure there's probably others you could use it for, but uh, just, the, just the main ones that I use it for. So that's what this little video is about. So uh, we'll kick it off first just by the, uh, with the straight turning uh, operations. So nothing very special there. We'll set it up and uh, show you it doing uh, left hand turning uh, operations. Okay, to do that left hand turning operation, we need to release the head and rotate it. So I just release the uh, this little rear cap screw, rotate it around our orientation that we want, and then just. Nip it up again on that screw. And you might have seen from the breakdown videos that I did that there's a, a large dowel pin up inside here that uh, pushes on a spigot that is off this little uh, diamond head, um, sits down into a uh, into a mating hole and locks it into position. So as you can see, we can do our, our standard left hand turning uh, operations just by rotating the, uh, the head around to the correct orientation. All right, obviously the other benefit for this head too is that uh, I run two different tool types in here. Uh, this front one at the moment's got a, um, a 0.8 mil radius tool bit and the one I've got on the back here is a uh, 0.4 millimeter radius tool bit. So we can very simply just rotate that head around and bring in the finer um, radius tool uh, to do some machining operations and then once again we just have to release that dowel pin rotate the head around lock up the dowel pin and we're right to go again The other operation I use this for too is for um, roughing out um, coarse threads. So we'll show you the setup that I use for uh, for that. All right, guys, I just use the standard 55 degree um, threading gauge to uh, to set our our, our uh, tip um, orientation up. Uh, just squared up against the face. We lock that into place. These tips are a 55 degree angle, which which obviously matches your Whitworths and your BSFs. Um, as I said, I only use this for roughing out. So. Uh, if I'm roughing out coarse threads or deep coarse threads, I can use this tool, then put my standard 60 degree in if I'm doing metric or, uh, or UNC, and then take the thread angle out to, out to what it should be. So uh, we'll just show you this roughing out uh, very quickly. So we're going to cut 16 TPI, which is um, 3.8. So uh, we'll knock that over and just show you how this roughs out uh, as, a, uh, as a threading tool. I do with on threading I don't have my tool post coming in at 30 degree angle I uh, side cut or I just uh, 
offset my top slide slightly to actually do side cutting on the uh, on the threads. As I've said previously, I have a, uh, a metric lathe, so uh, I'm cutting an imperial thread, so I need to leave the, uh, the half nuts fully engaged, and I just reverse the, uh, the lathe back each time. So, looks a bit rough, I know, a little bit teary. Um, the tool's not real, uh, real sharp at the moment, it's pretty blunt. But you get the idea what you can do with these. As I said, it's great for, uh, for roughing out coarse threads, um, large coarse threads, and then coming in with your uh, high-speed steel just to do the final cleanups on it. All right, we'll do some setting up and do some uh, some facing and some counterboring using the tool. So we're going to orientate the uh, the diamond head around uh, for doing basic facing work. That does that very well. All right, we can do some very light counterboring work on this now. So if you had to sort of come in maybe three millimetres to do a small counterbore, we can do that with this tool as well. So as you can see, we can do uh, we can do light counterboring work with this uh, with this tip as well. And uh, the last thing I'll show you, we can obviously rotate this around to actually put chamfers on, just a little 45 degree. Chamfer. Just to finish your job off. So as you can see, guys, this is a a very universal little tool. This is why I like using it. It does probably 90% of my different turning operations uh, in the one tool. Um, very very quick and easy to, to set up and uh, and reset each time. So um, as I say, go back and look at my previous videos. I show a breakdown of this uh, of this particular tool, and there's been quite a few blokes actually make up a uh, make it up from that description. So uh, have a look at it, and uh, if you reckon it's up for you and you want to have a go, um, see what you can do with it. All right, guys, have a great Christmas, have a great New Year, and uh, we will see you in the New Year. All right, guys. Cheerio for now. Bye.